All right, morning everyone. Um, just a little video today on how to shoot upwards in the trees. Now, a lot of people see a question all the time on the, on the internet. I can't shoot upwards. I don't know where I'm aiming, I don't know where to aim. Um, now, hopefully this little video will give you an insight into where you need to aim and why you need to aim there. Right, so you're walking along, you're out on your mooch and you come across a pigeon. Now this pigeon is 25 meters, let's say 20 meters, at the top of a tree. It's at this kind of angle. Now what we need to think about is not the drop on a 25 meter shot. What we need to do is draw a line from that bird to the floor. Now generally, if you, you know, you're at that kind of angle, you don't, you're never really going to shoot directly above your head. You know, you're always going to be at some kind of an angle. So let's say this our bird is at that angle. So we need to draw a line from that angle straight to the floor. Right? I'm, I'm not going to walk it because I'll go out of shot. But from at that angle, from 25, 20 meters up there to the floor is about six meters. So what I need to think about is the, the force of gravity acts on that ball at a distance of six meters. Forget 25 meters, 20 meters. That's not the real range. That is the real range, but that's not the range that the gravity is acting upon it at. The gravity is acting upon it at six meters. So effectively that shot is six meters away. So you need to play, shot, put your shot placement as if that bird was six meters away. Um, we're gonna have a couple of shots on this bit of paper. Um, I'm probably gonna go out of a screenshot. So I'm gonna walk back, I'm gonna do walk back six meters. And this is gonna tell me where my catapult shoots at six meters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. Probably can't see me, but I'm gonna wrap a couple off. Grab this. Try and rip it. Okay, so at six meters, you can see my catapult is basically shooting to exact point of aim. So, although we know that bird's 20 meters away, we don't need to aim above it. We don't need to aim underneath it, or I don't. We want to be aiming straight at its head. It's going to be, it's, it's, uh, this is where people get confused. They think because it's far away, it's 20 meters away, they need to aim above it. But most of the time you don't. You need to aim at it or slightly underneath it. And that's why, because effectively the shot is only a few meters away from you. So if you want to know where your catapult is shooting at that range, or at them different angles, shoot some paper at different ranges, five meters, two meters, six meters. And you're probably going to find it's generally a point of aim. Right, the same principle for shooting upwards also applies to shooting downwards. Your target could be 30, 30 meters beneath your feet, but it still only works on that straight line. It's 30 meters down, but if it's three, five, six meters away, that's that's the kind of drop you need to allow for. There's gonna be no drop. You need you want to be aiming straight at it. 30 meters away, forget it. It's that distance there. Okay? So also as well, another thing when you're shooting upwards where you might be finding problems is your elbow position and your arm position. We need to think of our body as a turret. So our arm, forearms straight, rear arms in an anchor position, where as we would normally shoot in a flat, flat trajectory. So we need to be keeping that the same. We don't want to be raising our arm up and doing this. So you see we've raised this arm, but we've kept this arm the same. That's going to change the trajectory. So we need to be moving with our body rather than our arm. So we're going to set up as if we're shooting something flat. I'm going to raise up with my body like that. Now you can, if you want to, if you've seen the bird up there, rather than trying to aim up like that, you can set yourself up like that to make sure you, and then rise to the target. You make sure your your arm, and everything's the same. Or obviously after practice, you can just you know where your arm's going to be, and that's where you are. Either way, what you must do is keep everything the same. So none of this. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Because look at my elbow compared to my front arm. You know, you, it's, it's not right. The shot's not gonna go right anyway. Everything needs to be in line as it would for a flat shot. Right, 
thanks for watching again. Um, welcome to all new subscribers. Thank you. Um, hope the video has been helpful. And uh, until next time, shoot straight. Cheers.